Hello everyone, this is How To Bob and I made this video to show you how to insulate your whole house or attic fan. You can see here, it's kind of hard to see, but this reads about 110, 108 and my regular ceiling here is only in the 80s. So you can see I definitely have a leak. So I'm going to get me some rubber foam insulation, some good quality duct tape and some metal tape and a piece of foamular board that is two inches thick or an inch and a half. Now you can see I have a box built around my whole house fan. I'm going to take my insulation and line the box top with my foamular insulation. That will give me a good seal when I put my lid on the fan. My lid is going to be automatic so I won't have to get up into my attic couple times a year to take out the insulation and put more insulation in, take it out and put it in. So this will be real nice keeping me from having to climb up into the attic a few times a year. So I've lined my box that I have around my whole house fan with insulation on all four sides. I'm going to go ahead and peel the cover off my insulation exposing the foam and it's just a compressed foam that has a self-adhesive sticky side. Now I'm going to go out and cut my hatch cover or my insulating cover here. So I've got my measurements. I just score this two inch formula a few times and then snap it and it'll give me a nice clean cut. I'm going to get my other dimension here and I just score that a few times and once I get it scored most of the way through all I have to do is stand it up and snap it and it gives me a nice clean cut. Now you can see mine wouldn't fit up the access hole so I had to cut it and I taped it back together. But all I have to do is take my cover here, fit it on there very nice and then on the side I want it to pivot I'm going to take some good quality duct tape. You want to use good quality duct tape because it's going to be heated up in the summertime and cooled off in the wintertime. So you want it to last as long as possible so you don't have to climb up in the attic. But I'm going to run across where I want my hinge to be and the duct tape is going to be my hinge, is like a continuous hinge. I'm going to run across there three times with the duct tape just to make sure I get a good good quality hinge, the best I can get. I know I'm only using tape here, but then I'll go across on the hinge with a couple other pieces. You could do this a few times just to get a good solid hinge that's going to last as long as possible. And once I get that done, check for fit and make sure everything's sealed off, push the tape down real good. I'm going to go downstairs and turn my fan on and try it out. You can see with the fan on the insulating cover goes up. It doesn't go up all the way but if you're concerned about that you can always hook up a string and a pulley system that goes down into your house. But I think this is just fine once you turn the fan off. It's sealed back up. So a quick check of the temperature in the mid 80s so I've achieved what I was looking for. So this is how you make an attic fan insulation cover. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.